Hip hip hooray! I do not know about you, but I remember my seventh birthday like it was yesterday. My parents surprised me by allowing me to get my first dog. The next challenge was to decide which breed of dog I wanted, what to name it, or even what coat colour I wanted. But now I look back on this and wonder, what causes the differences in coat colour? Over time, certain traits like coat colour have been chosen and selected over others in domestic animals. The selected individuals are then used to breed to ensure the continuation of that trait. However, it was not known what genetic factors were involved in the control of different coat colours in dogs. If we go back more than 100 years to 1917, Sewell Wright, an American geneticist, demonstrated through the analysis of genes that the specific genes that control the differences in coat colour were highly maintained across mammals. Fast forward to 1957, Clarence Cook Little, also an American geneticist, discovered that the dominant inheritance of a black coat in domestic dogs involved a locust distinct from the MC1R gene. But what does this mean? MC1R is short for melanocortin 1 receptor. It is an important receptor that regulates pigment type switching. Think of the receptor as a light switch. When the receptor is on, it is activated. When it is off, it is inhibited. For MC1R to be activated, a specific molecule must bind to the receptor. If not, the receptor is inactivated. If MC1R is activated, it promotes melanocytes to create eumelanin. Eumelanin causes the coat colour of dogs to be black. Whereas, when MC1R is inhibited, it causes the creation of pheomelanin, which results in a yellow coat colour. But Little said that a locus distinct from MC1R was involved. He proposed that the inheritance of the dominant black coat was due to a mutant allele of the Agouti gene. Agouti is part of the gene that encodes a ligand that causes inhibition of MC1R signalling, which results in a yellow coat colour. However, what genes control the coat colour of dogs was still not entirely understood. In 2007, the work of Sophie Kandahl and colleagues determined there is a third gene in dogs that interacts with Agouti and MC1R called CBD103, also referred to as the K locus. The K locus and Agouti were found to behave quite similarly. The K locus has three alleles with a distinct dominance order of black over brindle and brindle over yellow. How did Kandil and her team discover this? They determined that the position of the K locus was in a different location on the genetic map to where no pigmentation genes were known to occur. Previous research has demonstrated that different dog breeds started to differentiate around 200 years ago. So, it is assumed that mutations should be similar between breeds that appeared at the same time. For this experiment, boxers and Great Danes were selected as they are evolutionary similar. When the arrangement of genes were compared using classical linkage analysis, there were 16 genes of significance, including a set of genes that encode 12 proteins, specifically known as beta defensins, which were once studied for their role in immunity. Then, the beta defensin gene was sequenced from dogs that had the K locus allele for the dominant black coat and or the K locus for the yellow coat. From comparing their sequences, it was determined that there was a three base pair mutation, specifically a deletion in CBD103. To confirm that this mutation causes a black coat colour, 38 different breeds of dogs were split into groups based on their K locus allele. By analysing the genes of 454 dogs, it was confirmed that CBD103 is involved in determining coat colour. To further support this finding, it was even confirmed in mice. So, if we know that only three genes are involved in the coat colour of dogs, how is there so much variance? Kandel and colleagues determined that there are three outcomes. Firstly, if the dog had the wild type alleles for all three genes, it will have a yellow coat as the MC1R receptor is inhibited. If dogs have a mutation in the MC1R gene, which causes an inhibition of the receptor and have wild type alleles for Agouti and CBD103, the dog will still have a yellow coat as pheomelanin is produced. Lastly, if the dog had wild type alleles for MC1R and Agouti and the dominant black allele for the CBD103 gene, this would result in a black coat as eumelanin is produced. So there it is. 
mutation in a gene once examined to have a role in immunity, as well as two other genes control the coat colour of dogs. The work performed by Kandil and colleagues not only filled a major knowledge gap, it represents a key advance in determining the true entirety of genes involved in the pigmentary system, as these genes are also known to be involved in other vital physiologic pathways. These findings could prove to be vital in future research such as curing diseases.